If you're looking to buy, repair, sell, update, or restore your Apple Mac, Minko's Macs offers a personal, genuine service to all customers with many years of experience and specialist technicians in store. All right, so what we have in here is a 2018 MacBook Air. This specific MacBook Air has a T2 chip, and technically, the only way you can actually install the OS, if you, let's say, you want to sell it to someone else, and technically you want to wipe the drive, reset the Mac, it requires you to connect to internet recovery, to download the Mac OS, and install the Mac OS. Well, the issue is, the internet recovery sometimes can be Busted, I would say it can be tricky and messy. First of all, it's because the most common thing it's long. So to re reinstall the macOS, first you need to be internet recovery because you wipe the drive and the internet recovery is completely gone. I mean the local recovery is completely gone. I will say so. The only way you can do it is just boot into internet recovery and install the macOS. But again, depending on your internet, it takes a while. So even to boot into internet recovery. After you connected to the Wi-Fi, it takes like 20 to 30 minutes, some people get 10 minutes, some people get 15 minutes, okay? And then when they go into internet recovery, it takes again another like 3 hours, 2 hours to install macOS inside the internet recovery. That's one issue. The second issue is sometimes when the Wi-Fi gets cut off, you have to redo again. Third issue, sometimes it just fails to do an instant recovery. I sent instances where I managed to download an entire 12 gig image from Apple and it will just not install it. It will just say download failed, failure and all the stuff. And the fourth issue I am seeing it is that some MacBooks, actually especially on T2 chip Macs, they cannot actually boot into internet recovery. Some people are actually getting error messages such as minus 1100F or minus 2100F, which is I had one instance. I even used an Apple configurator to, to completely reset the Mac. It will still doesn't allow me to be into instant recovery because it keeps showing me like minus 2100F error codes. So I can't even get it for instant recovery because it has an error code. And that's something to do with either with an actual hardware or even to do with Apple ID or iCloud verification. It's messed up. And the full the final reason why actually is because when you wipe reset the T2 chip Mac, even you do have your your own recovers here. So this is my uh, I have couple um, clean OS installs from here, like from El Capitan, High Sierra, Mojave, Big Sur, Monterey, Catalina. What it is, it doesn't allow me to boot to external drive, external device because you know. Apple, it just basically enables the security features, which is stop shoe to boot. It makes sense when someone loses the Mac, but it's kind of sometimes gets frustrating when you're in sometimes in some situation and you need to do it a bit quicker. So, for this procedure, what you do need to get, um, you need to have a different machine actually, to be honest with you. Um, it kind of helps a bit so, so you can actually download the copy of Mac OS and flash the copy of Mac OS to this drive and the uh, uh, final thing you do need to add is actually have a external drive SSD preferably but it can be a hard drive what you want to do is you want to actually install an actual Mac OS install on this drive so what it is this drive will have a, a full copy of Mac OS so you can boot into externally use it the apps and all the stuff and this copy ha will have a local recovery, which is the actual installation files will be here. And this is where the actual macOS system will be here. So what it is, you need to trick this computer to boot into recovery from here that has a system installed. So for instance, I have Big Sur installed, a couple monetary system installed. And so I can use apps on uh, any one of those machines. So I don't need to uh, like mess out with internal drive. So I can boot into external drive, use macOS from here do some apps and that's pretty much it. So when you install um, install uh, Mac OS in here, it does install recovery. So you need to boot into trick this Mac to boot recovery from this drive. So you can actually install Mac OS from installation files from a thumb drive or any drive. So 
you definitely uh, so there's actually a couple guys that helped me through actually so if I just type a password so first thing what you want to do is actually download a copy of from Apple Mac OS App Store so you need a different machine to get a copy of Mac OS installer can be Monster, Big Sur, Kalina at the moment we're going to focus on a Big Sur which is that's what I want to install this machine to so firstly get a copy of a Big Sur when since you download a copy of Big Sur, what you want to do is use this um, uh, guide from Apple uh, from Apple as well. It's how to create a uh, installer for macOS, Bitsable installer for macOS, which is I done here, which is it gives you a guide like for the terminal commands how to do it and all the stuff, pretty much it. So since you've done the um, uh, installer here, so that's going to be a beautiful installer. Uh, when you get those things, when you get a beautiful installer install a Mac OS on this drive or using a different machine and make a bootable installer on this drive so we have a bootable here and I have an installer okay so since you have that what you want to do is move to the Mac that you do want to install it on to do this procedure the Mac has to be turned off at the moment and when it's turned off what you want to do is plug in the bootable drive into the Mac so just plug in the bootable drive into the Mac and once you plug in what you want to do is actually be really quickly on this one you want to actually hold the power uh, want to uh, hold the command and R key and press the power button and on this one hold the power command and R for like a minute or so so that will actually will not ask you to log into the Wi-Fi to be instant recovery it will boot one more recoveries from this drive which is a bit time, like a minute or two, but it's much quicker than waiting for like 20 minutes or like 20 minutes or 10 minutes to download the 500 megabytes copy and get into recovery from here. So hold this one, let's say give a couple seconds. And what you do after like like a good 30 seconds, what you want to do is just let this but those buttons off. And this procedure does take, for me on this Mac, it does take like a minute or two to verify the recovery from here. So take time, it will take short two, three minutes and that's pretty much it, but you should see the line. As long as you see the line on the Apple screen, this means that you did do a local recovery from this drive, okay? As you see here, it shows a line basically, which is it didn't ask me to connect to the Wi-Fi first. So now it's at the moment it's booting to instant recovery, which is we're gonna wait for the line to go up, and that's pretty much it. All right, so this has potentially loaded to a recovery from Big Sur, which is I do know I have a Big Sur installed here. Obviously, uh, you might ask you for Apple ID activation key because of course you're dealing with a T2 chip, so make sure you do enable uh, you do enable the Apple ID stuff and all the stuff. And obviously, first of all, what I usually do, you might not need to do that. But I will just um, erase the drive and, and that's pretty much it. And then I will show you how you can install from this drive using the recover from here. Next what is left to do is just plug this drive in. But before we do plug this drive in, what we do need to know is some few terminal commands. And I will explain you why actually. Before you do plug in the external bootable recovery, what you want to do actually, the idea where it came from, the idea came from, from this actual website where it documents how to download and install Mac OS, for, um, Mac OS Recovery. The thing is what we don't want to do, we don't want to download because we already have downloaded. We just want to have follow the procedure on how it actually how to actually install Mac OS from a terminal. So it's a good website. Um, there's some things I will take it, which is some terminal commands you might need to know. Which is specifically on those ones, that's what we will be focusing on view terminal commands. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will link the website uh, on my down in the description so you can just maybe look a bit. Uh, don't mind different language, it's not in English, but it's because this main computer is not an English one. But what you want to do, uh, obviously, uh, what you want to do is go to disk utility. And what you want to do is open terminal. I will say open another instance of terminal. It just makes life easier. Uh, 
Also additionally, I will plug the thumb drive, which is here. And one in one instance, what you want to do is, is actually open two volumes in both of them. Just it makes much easier. The reason why I plug in a drive because I will install from an external uh, bootable drive. However, uh, the way it works actually. So uh, basically, on my one, uh, I'm just gonna go to install Mac OS Big Sur. Uh, so basically, what it is, when you click LS. Uh, you should actually see contents like install Mac OS Big Sur app, library, system, which is that's going to load up for my boot, uh, it's loading for my bootable Mac OS drive. So what you want to, what it is, you know, you can actually go install Mac OS CD contents. CD contents and then let's see Mac OS. Which is basically will give you the script. To install a system springboard the only issue is is that i'm gonna copy this install a system springboard to the main internal hard drive because it does take long to execute the file so what we want to do is not to load up the installed springboard from a external usb drive what we want to do is actually copy the files to the internal drive. So to do this, uh, what you want to do actually, and let's just zoom this in. You want to actually go to, so firstly, go to CD volumes, CD Macintosh HD, because that's a default um, name for a internal drive. What you, do, what you want to do, obviously, it's going to be empty. So what you want to do is actually make a terminal so what you'll do is make a directory which is going to be uh, private going to be private which is that's the directory we're going to load up and store the files tmp and since that's done what you want to do is go to actual that directory for now which is on cd temporary and once you've done that make sure it's empty and uh, what we're going to do is i'm just going to since I'm a bit lazy, I'm just gonna copy the file. Just gonna copy the. Um, I'm just gonna copy the directory thing. So cd store. Just gonna make the directory as well. So you do need to make a directory. Just gonna. So gonna copy the directory. Copy area. And then what you want to do, type make door, paste that in, go that in and go to make sure that's the one, yeah, CD install. And what we're going to do now, that's a, we are in internal drive, that's an internal drive, that's the external bootable drive. What we're going to do is copy the executable files and the system uh, files from a bootable USB drive. So what we're going to do is CP for copy. Uh, hash R, which is basically R, copy everything, including folders and files. And we're going to do is type install from external drive to volumes Mac HD. Just gonna move that a bit so it's easy to see. So Mac HD, private, temporary, install macOS thing. So do that uh, it doesn't show anything but it's doing the copy so give around 10 minutes depending on the drive I'm using a USB 3.0 drive so that should take 10 minutes which is again it will still gonna save the time from waiting like three hours and so or whatsoever so just wait for that and the way we can confirm is when you go to LS we can pretty much see that the copying is doing it. So CD contents, LS, which is as you see the actual resources are macOS, plugins, share support. So we actually, we can actually leave on this page for now. And we just gonna wait for this to copy. So give around 10 minutes, 
50 minutes depending on the, on the speed of your drive and the file should be copied and then we're gonna move on the next stage all right so the way it's finished so since it's finished it then went to the new bash and now what you want to do uh, I will just plug I uh, just will unplug the external bootable drive from the thing because we don't need it anymore so let's just quit this shell I uh, think we can just quit the shell and what you want to do is uh, be in the internal drive and click ls but um, now such a file directory well, that doesn't matter actually we can just do cd no file such a directory I think I think that's the one um, okay that doesn't matter so let's just open a new shell also one more thing as well you do want to actually connect to the Wi-Fi because sometimes when you it will run install but it will just requires a Wi-Fi connection to verify so I'll be sure back we'll just set up the Wi-Fi and we're just gonna execute the script so yeah when once you connected the Wi-Fi which is I uh, do connect to the Wi-Fi well, obviously go back to the internal drive because you no longer need uh, the external bootable drive but make sure you still keep plugging in your actual external recovery drive that's a bit important because when you unplug that uh, it kind of messes up so yeah make sure you do unplug that so what you want to do now is go to the volume drive which is you can actually load the Mac and the HD you want to go to the private which is you made it go to temporary mode and then select install Mac OS Big Sur app once you do that, check the contents, go to the contents file, macOS file, and what we do is launch the installed script springboard, which is this one, and just hit enter. And to verify this, I think as long as you see this, this should be alright. So this will take like a minute or two, but it should actually show up a window, and that's pretty much it. So it takes like a minute or two because it's also in this it's an SSD so that will should take a minute or so well that was quick uh, it was literally hidden behind it but well look at this we have it we have the installer so now let's see how long it will take to install select drive continue and that says 90 minutes yeah that's pretty much it that's maybe so far the fastest way to install macOS from internet recovery. So yeah, in conclusion, what you want to do, get another pack, get a copy of macOS, install macOS on a external hard drive, boot recovery from the external drive, make sure you do make a bootable macOS installer, copy the macOS install files to the internal drive, and launch the springboard, and that's what you have to do. And that will definitely this took me what less than an hour, which is that's kind of been um, good. I'm waiting for like three minutes, three hours, five hours, and then just failed. So this will potentially work with no any failures. All right, thanks for watching.